Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Woki, and I'm back with more Dragalia Lost, because today, they added a mana spiral to a unit, and because now that Omnisite uh, exists, I figure, hey, may as well give my opinion on whether or not you should use it. Of course, as always, I should say before I give any advice on anything, I think that if you love a unit to the absolute max degree, and they are a Trials of the Mighty character, I would say go ahead and use your um, Omnisite on whatever you want. But for everyone else who wants to make them a little bit more of a practical decision, and or their uh, favorite characters already all have mana spirals, and hopefully this video can be helpful for you. So that's gonna be today's video. I hope you like it. If you do, you can leave a like. Helps the video a whole bunch. You can comment down below. Tell me how you feel about Wedding Away. Um, really weird character to give a mana spiral to in the spooky season, which is October. I was really hoping for um, Halloween Mim or literally any of the other Halloween units that could totally use it more. But to be fair, Wedding Oil also needs a, uh, a mana spiral, so it's very fitting. Um, and subscribe to me if you want more videos. I kind of lost the middle part there, but whatever. <laughs> Let's go. Ninja Bride Sweep, a shareable five, deals damage to enemies directly ahead, allows them to, uh, draws them together and inflicts sleep and storm lash. Storm lash is new. Damage 324 over four hits, damage 1290 over one hit. Skill energy required is 2401, shared skill is 10324. Special fix, uh, sleep lasts seven seconds, storm lash lasts 21 seconds. Triggers every 2.9 seconds and damage is 41. Ninja Bride Sun uh, Sunflower deals damage to enemies directly ahead and restores HP to all allies. Sleeping foes take extra damage. Hmm. Damage 701 over 5 hits. Recover potency 30. Energy required is 4,400. Damage modifier is 200% against sleeping enemies. Co-op ability is critical rate 10%. Chain co-op ability is wind above 10 hit equal water resistance 10%. Ninja Bride increases damage to the sleeping enemy by 10% and storm lashed enemies by 10%. Also buffs the entire team strength by 15% for 10 seconds upon successfully putting on the enemy to sleep. After activating, the strength increase will not activate again for 5 seconds. Wait, yeah, okay, for a time, okay. In addition, using Ninja Bride's Sun Shower will grant the user a defense amp with a maximum team amp level of 2. After this amp is granted, it's the. Uh, the part that makes this bad, it's <laughs> it will not grant it again for 30 seconds. Opponent freeze resistance 100%. Um, reduces susceptibility to freeze by 100%. When the user is hit with an attack that would have inflicted freeze on them, their strength is increased by 15% for 10 seconds instead. And this won't activate again for 15 seconds after it activates once. Striking haste 15%. Increases skill gauge fill rate by 15% when the user's force strike connects. Okay, um, so this this is a very weird unit because she's so focused on um, sleeping and it can actually be kind of a pain in the butt um, because a lot of the big bosses have like I think an 80% sleep resistance if they're not already at 100 and the reason is is because sleep is extremely extremely good it's similar to stun um, where once it's inflicted, um, they basically don't do anything and you can stop them out of animations. Um, I used to use this specific skill uh, for my old Volk um, grind team, the Ninja Bride Sweep, uh, because he would he would occasionally be falling asleep and it would make the fight easier for me. Um, the problem is, is that basically you only get one shot at it at, at best. It's very rare in a fight that you'll ever get to make them fall asleep multiple times. Um, so it's something to kind of bear in mind for a unit that's kind of so focused on it. So they did try and branch out and give her some more Stormlash stuff. I kind of wonder why they didn't do more to this. It feels like they should also do the same modifier for Stormlash. Um, because she definitely needs it, I think, a little bit more. Uh... Yeah, and again, this part here where it's like, every time the enemy falls asleep, it's not going to be super useful a lot of the time. I guess it's very situational, I guess. I guess not in the high highest content, I think. Um, maybe I'm wrong on that. Maybe in the highest content, maybe it turns out that sleeping is super OP or something, but as far as I'm aware of, I don't think it is. I think it's very good, but that you should not rely on it, basically. So yeah, this is a very... 
okay spiral it looks like i feel like a lot of the heavy lifting is going to be done on ninja bride sweep because if i remember right this actually hits pretty big uh, aoe <laughs> because again it's in it hits in a, in a large area and it also draws them to them so it's going to be kind of waiting to see having this type of move that hits multiple enemies and also gives them storm lash could be very useful um yeah, I can see it being very useful. Yes, I agree with me. Good. Um, but how good is it just going to be for it being just a shared skill versus a skill that you abuse with her? We're going to have to probably wait and see. It also looks like I checked a little bit a while ago to see if there was any major damage to her... Any major adage to her mods. And it looks like Wedding Oi already had very good mods. The problem were everything... The problem was everything else she did, so she got a very minimal increase in mods. Um, because they were already pretty solid to begin with. They just needed to buff everything else, and... I don't know, it doesn't feel like they did enough. Like, Striking Haze 15%, that could be better. That could definitely be better. You can't. I guess you can't improve this. This seems perfectly fine, except for the part where I feel like, again, the whole sleeping thing. It should have been sleeping and Storm Lash, I would say. She already does increase damage to Stormlash enemies, at least. But it, the, the part where it buffs the entire team strength by 15% would be way better if it was with Stormlash as well, I feel. And it would help, you know, cement her as a support of some kind. I don't know. So, I am definitely going to not use Omnisight, I think, on this one. And I'm just going to grind her pretty normally. Um... If anything, I already have the shared skill Ninja Bride Sweep, so I'll at least I'll be able to see if that's uh, if that's good. I already have it, so therefore I get to test that out a little bit and see how it is. Um, of course, back when I was using Ninja Bride Sweep, there weren't really a whole buttload of options for shared skills. So now there's much more options of what you want to do with a team, so things are different. But it's worth giving it another shot. But yeah. That's waiting away. I don't unless you really love her. I don't really see the need of doing Omnisite. And even if you did love her, I feel like they could have done much better. But if you're a big Oi fan, tell me how you feel about it. Do you disagree? Do you see her as amazing? And there's something I'm not seeing. If that's if that's the case, gladly tell me. I love learning about this game. I will never. Let me tell you right now. Um, I'm able to beat a lot of the stuff in this game. That doesn't mean I'm good at this game. So I'm very <laughs> opening to hearing what other people have to say. So never feel afraid to just kind of tell me that you think I'm wrong in some case. Uh, but that's the end of today's video, everyone. Thank you very much for watching it all the way through, especially if you watched it all the way through. Thanks a bunch. See you guys in the next video. Peace out. And... I wait, do I usually say something here at the end? Oh yeah, have a good night and have a good day, <laughs> depending on your time. <laughs> Depending on your time zone, you have a good day, have a good night. Peace out.